Good morning. I just want to cover what I personally am getting from North Carolina, people that are there. And first and foremost, I also want to say this. I do not give a damn about Diddy. I do not give a damn about the people in Diddy. I don't give a damn about anything about that other than this in that situation, that if you mess with a minor or a child and had sexual contact with a minor or a child or used your fame to do something weird with a kid, then I have got the solution, All right? And it requires about 88, whatever that regular gasoline is. Yeah. And it's a wood chipper. And that's the sentence. But when it comes to North Carolina, I have got people on the ground. Now, I want to say this, that this is firsthand information, that this is not backed up by not, no media. This is people on the ground and therefore could be considered speculation. But as you know, I mentor many people. I have a young man I mentor in North Carolina. The conversation started yesterday. He called me. He said, I'm trying to get down there with a truck full of water. He runs semis. I said, well, if you can get me some footage, he said, I can. He said, I got friends that have helicopters and I will send you the pictures and the videos of them flying with the bodies rolling down the river. All right. And I got a good friend named Terry that lives in Georgia and his brother lives in North Carolina. And he went up there and took, took supplies to his brother, his medical stuff, some groceries and everything. He loves his brother. He said, while I was up there, he said, I noticed that the state police had put up concrete barriers, right? To restrict the flow of traffic from people coming in and out of the state of North Carolina to keep them from going and getting supplies. And he said, it brought up a, he said, I'll just tell you what he said. He said, look, he said there was a man that traveled 40 miles out of North Carolina to get groceries and supplies for his family. And upon coming back into the state line, he was stopped by the state police and told that he couldn't come in. Right. Now he has family on the inside of the state. He lives in North Carolina and yet he had to travel over there to get groceries. Totally understandable. But the state police stopped him. And the man did this. He ran through the barricade. And when they finally got him down, the speculation of what I've heard is that he whooped the living hell out of the state police. Whooped three of them, right? And that later on down the deal, that when everybody showed up over the incident because firefighters and people of the community took the stance that, hey, if you're going to take this guy for, to trial, we're going to get on the jury and we're going to say, we're not going to convict him, right? It ain't going to fucking happen. And so like a thousand people showed up to remove the barricades around the, the, the state on this highway, wherever it was, this major freeway that's supplying life-giving supplies to people that are in North Carolina. And the state police left. They were overrun. And if there's any weight and truth to that, that any man, despite position, would stop another man from benefiting his family, I want you to know you just broke the second biggest law in the universe. Because the first one is, is that you will serve your God. And the second one is this, that you will serve your family. And if you break any one of them laws, I want you to know that you need to repent and you need to own up to it and you need to get right, motherfucker. Because those people are fighting for their life. Those people are trying to survive. Those people are doing nothing more than what you would have done. Matter of fact, if there's any truth to that, you would have called your police buddies and had them bring your shit in. Right? The situation in North Carolina is dire. And if you have information, you know how to get in touch with me. Because I'll take it. Matter of fact, you can just email Jason... How, how we want to do this. Email Jason's Burgers and more. That's all one word. Jason's Burgers and more at gmail.com with the information, please. Hope I don't get me blocked off here. But either way, I don't really give a fuck. The truth's the truth. And I'll tell you this. It is a damn shame that we have elected people that are blatantly against any American life seceding. They gave away 
all this money to other countries and now our own people are in need and we can't we can't give them nothing hey man fuck you we're fed up and y'all should all hang from the gallows because if you can't take care of your own remember this that there's only two rules right love your god and number two love your family and we're all fucking family in this country and I wish I could break free. I've had people contact me, want me to bring my truck. Hey, man, if I wasn't in school, if me and Missy both weren't lined up, if Missy loses three days, they take her out of the program, or we would be there, right? We would bring our ass. But I'll tell you what I can do. I can get on this phone, I can get on this social media, and I'll light it up. Because if you're suffering, if you're a fucking American, and you're in need and your country has turned your back on you and your police has turned your back on you and they started putting barriers up to restrict you that that is a nazi police state communism and i will not have none of it god bless you fluid english